throwing lefts and rights. I keep my jaw locked tight, swinging. Bullets singing past your head through your windows. And plastic foes, it's a rap cast of clothes. I laugh at those who chose to get bold. When they lose a couple of souls, they crumble and fold. I watch them hunt down, hurt, hang and hate the hater. Watch how we rise, fall and thank me later. Top dollar. Anybody who got a problem with us can easily be found and crushed. I'm a lush, feeling a rush. Feel the adrenaline pumping. Me and Dub and the Escalade thumping. Crazy Doom Productions, crank the ass. Limo tent down, let's attract some trash, my nigga. When I walk, I'm leaving holes in the concrete exhibit, dropping heat from 30,000. Permanent Patriot. And this is what we're looking at New World Order. Except we're seeing who the players are. Not David Rockefeller, not Rothschild. We're going above them. Yeah, there's people above them. You didn't know that? This country are established before the debate even begins, and everyone else is marginalized. They're made to seem either to be communists or was some sort of disloyal person. A kook, there's a word, and now it's conspiracy. See, they've made that something that should not be even entertained for a minute, that powerful people might get together and have a plan. Doesn't happen. You're a kook. You're a conspiracy buff. What is at stake is more than one small country. It is a big idea, a new world order. Out of these troubled times, our fifth objective, a new world order can emerge. Now, I showed you folks this before. This is a real video, and even David Rockefeller has admitted it. And if you heard the interview with him, where they question him about it, and then he says, if that's what a new world order is, I'm guilty. Guilty as charged, okay? And uh, I'll probably show that interview anyways. So take a look, in case you didn't see it. I'll just show a little bit of it. Kingdom of Satan. There's their little pyramid. Illumicor. And the other day, I just showed you their website. Hello, initiates, and welcome to the Illumicor video training course. I would like to officially welcome you as a member of the team. You've joined our organization at perhaps the most exciting point in all long history. Our founders shared a passionate dream to transform this country and eventually the whole world into one cohesive organization. When Lumicorp finishes gaining centralized control of the resources of the planet, and we will, we can then organize, distribute, and govern for the benefit of all. After competition and dissent are eliminated, we will build a utopia for the people of the world to share based on need and rejoice together in a harmonious new world. So I think we can all agree that there is a new world order a conspiracy if you will and conspiracy is just two or more people getting together plotting evil that's it conspiracy theorist is one who questions the claims of known liars pretty much so we know that we know that there's a, a group of people we know that the banks are behind it we know that the governments are behind it the bankers, J.P. Morgans, and the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers. Okay. The whole banking fraud, everyone is overlooking is this. Bankers have been producing limitless, fake, digital, unaudited, unaccountable monies on their computer screens and have bought up and corrupted everything. There is no debt. There is just the activities of the criminally insane banksters and the destructive mega corporations they created with their fake money like Monsanto and Solyndra. Their fake monies have destroyed all morality and truth-based societies like the Masons. Now they're out of control spending to, uh, to control everything on this planet is bringing about the complete destruction of our natural environment. 
Agenda 21. Our planet is dying and being destroyed by the out-of-control, insane use of unlimited fake money and currency. Interest is private banksters' taxation. In a common law society, we own our central bank and our currency. When our common law government spends money, inflation, to build our country and pay our services interest and income tax free, the money spent is the tax on our labors. The more our government spends, the less your money in your pocket is worth. That is called inflation, which I keep telling you people about who are out there begging for $15 an hour jobs to flip hamburger. The robots are going to have those jobs soon. You're not even going to have a fucking job working there. Uh, so, but the value of the money will go up. That's deflation. Again, as we do physical work for labor is the only thing that puts true value to currency. The G20 is now doing the global reset, it's called, because the banksters have over-created money on their computer screens and have destroyed the fiat currency. And that's very true. And I don't even know about that shit. But I follow Gerald Salente in Trans Journal. And <clears throat> it's, it's all designed. They're doing it on purpose to destroy the economy so they can bring in a one world money system. Okay? If you don't know the G20, those are the number of countries that have signed on to this. There are a bunch of different countries. And if you notice, they keep coming out with all this global shit. The United Nations, NATO, FEMA, Homeland Security, brings all sorts of departments together and agencies. Now they're doing this shit, and they're going to have three different parts of it in the world. You're going to have the Amero, which will be currency for Canada, the United States, and Mexico. They already got um, I think they already have one in Asia, whatever they call that, and they already got the euro. We're the only place left that they have to put this into place. So let's get real clear here that we are the last stand, and people around the world have been waiting for years for the American people to stand up against these fucks and do something about it. And now they're in our backyard and you're still doing nothing about it. Beware of the elite NWO divide and conquer strategies that are well funded. See evidence of why this is happening here. The Islamic immigration in Beijing is one of their means to bring about their global reset. That's why they have the border open, folks. That's why they're not letting Americans leave. That's why if you try to get out with four, five grand or more, TSA is going to report you right to the government, and you ain't going to go anywhere. But realize the end result is not to conquer, but to destroy all, including the Muslims. So now that the NWO banksters can destroy the now worthless currencies and bring in their new currencies so that they can start all over again to control the world through their controlling the new currencies. And folks, even if we were labor slaves, we should technically, and I've looked into this several times, and so other people are a lot smarter than me. Technically, we should only be working two days a week and living like kings, everybody on the planet. And one day of not paying for the Afghan war and the Iraq war would eradicate hunger worldwide. Ask yourself, why don't they want to do these things? The answer is very simple if you ask yourself that question. All privately owned banks have to be disabled and all money creation or currency has to go back in the control of the common, okay? Come over here. Swiss Bank. You know everybody's got a Swiss bank account? The elites? How come they all have one? And believe me, that's not fail proof and that's not their main place they keep their money, I'm sure. 
Switzerland follows Iceland in declaring war against the banksters. Swiss vote on banning money creation by banks. I've told you this plenty of times. I'm going to find it again. Most corrupt bank in the world. Basil III's HSBC shutting down bank accounts. HSBC of Switzerland has recently been charged with money laundering by drug cartels and terrorists all over the world. Now, I don't know about them, but but there's the link. But Wells Fargo Wachovia, I think in 2011 or 2012, got caught laundering $420 billion of Sinaloa drug cartel money. What was their fine? $111 million. Pocket change. That's their fucking lunch money. Ouch, that's going to teach them a lesson. So they were forced to apologize publicly before the Senate, and its compliance chief resigned over facilitating a multi-billion dollar money laundering operation for the drug gangs, terrorists, and rogue nations worldwide. Okay. Haha, <laughs> JesusIsPrecious.org. You're going to want to come over down here to the NWO, or you can come down here to World Order. There you got your, uh, all the music. That's a good one. Uh, we've been there before, and we shall return. But let's check out NWO. So everything that you need for knowing who these slime balls are and what they do is right here and it's got pawns in the game to destroy all existing governments and religions highly suggest that one uh face his book before you facebook yeah Talks about all the symbols. And there's your celebrity collage. There's a lot more than that. Might want to have a look at some of these. That's how our, our Jews comprise most of the synagogue of Satan. So, on this page, you'll find out an awful lot about Illuminati scum, their plans, how they. Do you know that these people write your textbooks, folks? Are you aware of that? They're writing stuff for your kids. You'll also find that in here. Police state. And they're behind all of this. George Soros, who just paid, I think, $32 million or $132 million to keep the riots in Ferguson going. That Black Lives Matter group is federal group that ain't no real protesters if those were real protesters they would have been stopped protesting a long time ago people get shot worse than that every day B. okay ask yourselves why they pick these certain shootings when worse shootings happen right across the street So that's what we're getting into today. 
please learn something. Join me. God bless and carry on.